Uh, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. A lot of you have been asking about the uh, blue barrels that I get. Um, I'm lucky enough that these come to our works. Uh, they have some ad blue in them and uh, they're non-returnable. They are a little bit flimsy but uh, they do the job. And what I'm going to basically show you today is how I cut the tops off we cut down a little bit further, remove that bit, that slides into that and then we drill holes in the top so the water can get through and then we'll be uh, fitting the um, water butt tap. Uh, for that we need uh, a 22mm drill bit. The uh, core drill bit that I'm always talking about uh, to help uh, with the holes some clear silicon and a, a jigsaw so I'll just set you up and first of all we'll uh, drill the holes in the top while it's nice and stable then that way any rain that falls on here uh, can go down these holes and keep those barrels topped up uh, with uh, whatever surface area of water falls down Uh, this area is normally quite good, the plastic isn't too thick there and uh, naturally there's little holes in here that drains this off uh, but those will actually be inside the barrel. <laughs> so that uh, will do for that one. do them on the opposite side. So that's that, so next we'll drill the hole. So when you eye it up we're looking for the flat piece, that's a natural line uh, to follow, we'll be taking that out there. Now I know naturally that if I follow this rub line I'll be taking enough off so that lid will uh, fit inside, he says hopefully. So now, hopefully, that should just uh, slot in. There's the drain hole, uh, but hopefully most of the water will go in there. But you can block those up if you want. So right next is the uh, hole. Now, some of these barrels, you've got this lip. And that's always useful when when you're lifting it. So you always want the tap here so you don't bash the tap on the floor. So that's where I'm going to be uh, putting the, uh, the tap. So 
so we've got the uh, 22 millimeter bit and that is just the right size you don't want to be too far at the bottom because of the silt and you want it nice and uh, nice and flat When you buy them, just make sure that rubber's intact. Uh -huh, he says, looks like I've uh, selected the uh, the wrong one. Well, that was a world of pain uh, because once uh, you've drilled the hole, you need that centerpiece. Uh, my mistake, uh, it should have been 25 mil, but double, double check. For some reason, um, the 22, and then it's a 32 in my set but always um, line everything up first. Don't uh, make the same mistake I did. So even though they've got the rubber seal, I'm going to be applying uh, some silicon anyway. And then we'll just let it go off um, for as long as we need to. The awkward bit is when uh, you actually try and uh, get inside so all I'm going to be doing is putting some silicon on the inside of that thread now and then uh, popping the uh, plastic bolt on. So that's all done and dusted, uh, mistake easily sorted, I'll use, these, use the core drill bit to uh, open that uh, hole up uh, that extra little bit. Um, so that sits on nice now and we've on these are 210 litre blue barrels so we've probably lost um, a few litres uh, taking that rim off not a great deal probably 10 litres so we've still probably got 200 litre barrel there um, now you can when you do cut them off turn them and sit them straight on there without cutting it off I'm just going to do another one now that I've got that isn't the same design as this it, 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 it you'd have to cut more of this off to sit the lid in so I'm going to do that one now and I'll just show you after I've done so with this one we've just done uh, a single cut and uh, the lip there I'm pretty sure it was uh, Steve from Digwell Greenfingers uh, said just cut that top off and uh, just slip it onto there and uh, on another barrel I did I had to cut it right down to there because this was more vertical not like the other barrel where you've got uh, the the angle so uh, we'll just uh, pop a couple of holes in here And then uh, there's nothing to stop you actually using this if you've got water stored in here that you don't really want to use straight away uh, use it as a, a planter uh, and you can just move it on and off uh, just to make your uh, growing space a little bit more attractive these have got to be just uh, give them a good swill down and a wash off just make sure there's no uh, no residue left so if you've uh, liked watching uh, this video then please consider subscribing um, I do like my allotment gardening water collection recycling yes we're using plastic I know I know but these would just get uh, crushed uh, as they're not recyclable so better to have them uh, on the allotment as uh, landfill happy gardening to you all until next time, my friends, ta for now.